Welcome to today's video guys. Today we're gonna talk about five lies that a lot of groups talk about on Amazon FBA and it's absolutely bullshit. And I wanna call those out for you guys to actually understand what it takes for you to build an unprofitable Amazon FBA business. And it's not some of the lies that these guys have been telling you. All they're doing is they're trying to clickbait their videos uh, for you guys to watch them and they get watch time and they try to sell the, their course on you. So I'm not selling any courses guys. I'm trying to provide you guys information for free of charge. So think about this. I want you guys to really understand what I'm going to be talking about today. Okay, so let's get right into it. The first and foremost lie that a lot of gurus tell you is that Amazon is a quick cash grab. That is not the case guys. Amazon is not a quick cash grab. While you can make a lot of money in the beginning, you cannot just take out that money and leave your business stagnant. So what happens is when you build a profitable product on Amazon, you've launched your product, now it's doing amazing numbers for you guys. You've invested 5K and within three months you already have 15K of profit in your pocket. Now what happens next? As you guys know, Amazon is all about finding the right product at the right time. And one product will not stay profitable forever. So therefore, you need to take that money, invest in your second product and third product. So you are scaling your business. It's not a quick cash grab for you to take the money and run. That is not how Amazon FBA works. So if you think that way, I'm telling you guys, this business is not for you. This business is for entrepreneurs who want to build a lifestyle, who want to build a career out of this. This is not for you to try it for three months, make some money and then run. That is gonna be absolutely like, I'm telling you guys, it's bullshit information that anybody who tells you it's a quick cash grab, it is absolutely not. Another thing which goes along these lines is that Amazon is a passive income. While you, once you get really good at it, once you have launched your products, right, it is somewhat of a passive income, but it is not a true passive income. What do I mean by that? Even though you've launched, let's say five products, you've built like a multi six figure business, right? You still have to check your listing. You still have to make sure everything is running well. You still have to make sure your inventory is getting uh, supplemented all the time when you run out, right? So it is not absolutely true passive income, right? You still have to do some kind of work. While you're not gonna do eight hours on it anymore, like the eight, nine to five jobs that we do, but you're still gonna spend, let's say, an hour a day to make sure everything is flowing properly. Now, the beauty of this is that you can do it from anywhere with an internet connection and a computer. So you can actually order, everything is done online, right? So you don't have to worry about, oh, I gotta be home to do this, or I gotta be at the office to do this, no. You can literally do it anywhere from your phone. Um, there are lots of apps for all the tools that you'll be using, guys. So you don't have to worry about that. But the absolute bullshit is that it is a passive income. It is not a true passive income. You still have to do a little bit of work, but it's not an eight hour, a, a, like a nine to five job anymore. It's literally an hour or two you're spending a day to make sure your listing is good, everything is good, inventory is good, reviews are coming in, and sales are happening. The third lie is that you can get started on Amazon with zero dollars. That is absolute bullshit. Whoever tells you that you can start with zero dollars, it is bullshit. You need investment. And at the very minimum thousand to fifteen hundred dollars USD. Think about it guys, you need uh, product research tools. You need to set up your Amazon sellers account, which costs a monthly fee. You gotta think about that. You gotta think about your shipping. You gotta think about your manufacturing, guys. These things all cost money and your inventory fees. And once you start making sales, your Amazon FBA fees, guys. It is absolutely bullshit. Like I've heard a lot of gurus say, you can start Amazon with zero dollars and they give you some like spiel on how you can start with zero dollars. That is absolutely bullshit, guys. If you really wanna build a successful business, I recommend you invest at least $3,000 to give yourself the best chance possible to succeed in this business. You're trying this not to fail. You're trying this to succeed and build and scale your business, right? You're not trying this for just like a month or so, see if it's gonna work for you. It is absolutely bullshit to start with zero dollars. I'm telling you guys, whenever you hear that word, run the other way. Go to a different group that actually will tell you the truth, guys. And a lot of people try to hide it. Oh my God, this it's all about grabbing your attention and selling you that course. Think about it, guys. That in itself is absolute bullshit. 
They're telling you you can start with zero dollars while they're gonna try to sell you like a two, three thousand dollar course which costs money. How hypocritical is that, right? So think about these things when you're actually following gurus and trying to um, find your information that way, okay? The fourth one is that you need an Amazon FBA course to succeed in this business. Now, while these courses are amazing, I'm not gonna lie, you do need a course to learn the information, but it is not absolutely necessary. They will make it seem like you're absolutely gonna fail without it. Now, I want you guys to think about this concept, right? I could spend, if you, if you wanna learn something on your own, you could spend years on it, right? Or you go to school and try to learn that thing within like two to four years, right? So you're trying to expedite it. Now, another example I can give you guys is that like, let's say you're trying to go somewhere. You're trying to go on a vacation. We're in Canada, we wanna to go to US somewhere. <coughs> Sorry. Now, you can drive there. It'll take you two, three days of driving or you can take the plane which could be five hours. Now the plane is actually the course which is providing you all the important strategies for you to actually learn the business as fast as possible. Now the question becomes how much you value your time. If you really wanna get started, a course is the best way to learn it, the fastest way, but it is not absolutely necessary. There is a ton of free information out there online, like my channel, that's gonna give you just that. And what I have done actually, is I have tried to give you guys the most important information so you don't waste time with like just me blabbering about bullshit. So it's all about key strategies, it's all about pinning it down to what works and what doesn't and doing the things that works. So while a lot of people may try to sell you the course, it is not absolutely necessary, okay? And the last bullshit that I always hear is that you absolutely don't need any experience or skills to do Amazon FBA. Now, I call that bullshit because you do need to learn the business. Anything you start in life, you cannot just go in blindly and start working on it. You need to know what to do. You need to know how to fix problems when you run into them. Skills are very important. That's why we go to school. That's why we learn things. That's why we watch these videos, guys, for God's sake. It's not that you can just go or oh, sign up on Amazon. I'm gonna order a product on Alibaba. I'm gonna bring it here and I'm gonna start selling. That's just bound to fail because you don't know which shipping terms to use. You don't know what to do with shipping. You don't know how to launch a proper product. You don't know how to do your listing properly. There are so many things. You don't know how to do PPC campaigns. You don't know how to really use proper keywords for your listing to optimize it. The, the right product, tools like uh, Jungle Scout and Helium 10 and Viral Launch, right? Like all of these things. You need these skills. Everything we do in life requires some kind of skill. And if you don't have that analytical, critical thinking, business mindset, entrepreneurship, of course with the technical skills to do well in this business, right? You're not gonna do well, you will fail. And I'm telling you guys, and a lot of people like myself, like I'm like, you know what, I can save money there, I don't need that, I can save money there, I don't need that. And it was just absolutely the wrong way, it took a while for me to build sales. So if you really wanna hit it home with Amazon FBA, make sure you build your skill set. And there's a lot of information available, guys, like this channel. Take it. There are so many videos, so many strategies that I have done from my experience as an Amazon FBA seller and also from my mentors who are six and seven figure sellers. I've taken courses on this stuff, guys. So that's why I'm trying to provide you guys with the absolute most important information out there. Okay guys, so these are the top five things that people lie about on Amazon FBA. So these are some of your gurus that try to uh, clickbait their videos, try to sell you their course, but yet they don't tell you the truth. So I want you guys to be aware of what happens on YouTube and on other, um, on other social media platforms that you follow these guys. So that's it guys, I hope you guys learned something valuable today. Tell me if you've heard another lie about Amazon FBA, so drop it in the comment below. I would love to hear it, and I would love to interact with you guys. So that's it. Ask me any questions. Drop it in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up. I really enjoy making these videos for you guys and sharing my knowledge and information. Thanks again, guys. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Hey, don't forget to subscribe, by the way.